712, President Obama has signed a massive spending bill that lifts the decades-old ban on exports of crude oil. And this morning, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise is joining us. Thank you for being here. And tell us why the lifting of this ban is so important for Louisiana. Well, you look like right now we're seeing layoffs all around the country, but in Louisiana we've had thousands of layoffs in the oil field. And going back to the 1970s, there's been a ban on us exporting oil. A lot of that was because uh, OPEC had had an embargo on us, but also people American technology. We found reserves all throughout the country. We could, to the we're totally self-sufficient. Wells. Yeah, we we could supply all of the needs of the entire country's oil supply. Uh, but then other countries would like to buy our oil. A lot of our allies around the world that are getting it from Russia, from even Iran and Saudi and, and these OPEC countries, mm -hmm. uh, they never had the option to buy from the United States. We were the only country in the world that had a ban on selling our oil, and that's now gone. And the idea is to try and bring jobs back, but, but with the price of oil so low and the demand so low, it, it probably won't have a huge effect like in the short term. Hopefully in the short term what we see is, is to stop the bleeding. I mean, you're seeing layoffs. Uh, we're hearing another big wave of layoffs is coming. Plus, you're seeing wells being shut in uh, all around the country. We're seeing that here in South Louisiana. Uh, so if we can at least stop the bleeding for now, uh, and then once things pick back up, Louisiana is going to be positioned uh, to help the United States become a world leader in shutting, out, uh, shutting down OPEC. We can actually compete with OPEC now. We weren't allowed by law to even compete with OPEC. Uh, again, a lot of our allies around the world would love to buy their oil from us mm -hmm. instead of some of those countries that don't like us or them. Uh, now we can do that, creating thousands more jobs in Louisiana and bringing in billions of dollars of additional revenue. And are there any downsides to this you see at all? Because, of course, some people didn't want to see this ban lifted. Uh, yeah, no downsides for anybody who actually believes in, in energy production. Uh, a lot of these don't want us to drill for oil anywhere in the United States. We're against it. But everybody else was for it. Uh, look, you know, we can argue over how many jobs will be created. Nobody's disputing that more jobs will be created in Louisiana. It'll be really good for our industry. And again, a lot more opportunities for us to compete around the world where we literally had a law on now. And switching gears, for the longest time, you guys up on uh, Capitol Hill have been called the do-nothing Congress, couldn't get along. But you guys did get along well enough to, to, to pass a big budget mm -hmm. and get it up to the president. Yeah, we got a number of things done in the last few weeks, and, uh, and it was a pretty busy last few weeks of this year's congressional session. And when you look into next year, I mean, we're going to start off the first week of January uh, in the House. We're going to bring a bill, what's called reconciliation, which is a bill uh, that will gut the president's health care law and defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, that bill will go to the president's desk. And, and then he'll we're veto start it. The, what's that? He'll veto it. Well, he may. You know, he mm -hmm. should sign it. It would be good policy. But if he vetoes it, we'll have an override. Uh, and then we're going to get into a lot of things. We're going to bring an alternative to the president's health care law. We're going to bring bills to put in place real tax reform. Right now, our, our country is not competitive worldwide. It's why you're seeing countries like Pfizer and others getting bought up by foreign companies uh, because our tax code is not competitive. We need to simplify it, uh, make America competitive again. What's the change that, that, that brought both parties together and, and uh, uh, both houses of Congress together to go ahead and pass this, this huge budget bill? Is it, is it the new speaker? Uh, you know, I think Paul Ryan... Or is Ryan, it election year or what? I think Paul Ryan's done a great job at, at, I know, in our conference, in the Republican conference, at bringing our members back together. We had had some fractions earlier in the year, and, and I think that's been resolved. And we've focused on getting getting our agenda moving forward again and getting the country back on track. Yeah, definitely and a lot to keep our eye on. Thank you for joining us. And you think it'll continue us. next year, too, this, this cooperation? Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to a, a bold vision that we're going to be pushing uh, through the House in 2016, and obviously with the presidential election. We'd like to help shape the debate and show the country how you can get the budget balanced again and get the economy moving again. All right, Steve Scalise, Majority Whip in the Thank House. Thank you.